vlog on sorry just trying to balance my chair it is the most gorgeous morning Brit alert talking about the weather straight away and apparently it's gonna be sunny all week which just is an instant indicator of Josie being in a good mood so today I'm always grateful grateful for a sunny day when it's a shoot day Jake is going to be arriving in any second now it's 10 30 Jake's going to be here any second we've actually only got two projects that we're going to be shooting here at the house today but I want to shoot some non-brand stuff as well maybe some bits um, for the old house channel I think Charlie's got some things that he wants to put on the old house Instagram because it's such a glorious morning we're going to ask Jake as soon as he gets here have a quick cup of coffee and then send his drone up because it's just absolutely glorious today I think the frost is just about melting by the way if you can hear <laughs> the fan going off it's because I don't want to be inhaling hairspray and I just put a lot of hairspray on. This is the first time I've used heat on my hair in a month. It has been an entire month. So let's hope my hair remembers how to behave. I've used the Dyson Airwrap as you just saw and I use the Weller Perfect Setting Spray. It looks like this. I'll leave it linked down below. I spray each section of my hair with this before air wrapping it and my hair was like 90% dry when I was doing the air wrapping. It does take me half an hour. I know a lot of people can do it a lot quicker, even in half the time, but my hair is fine, but I have got a lot of hair. <laughs> even I think the top section of my hair is the same amount of hair as some people have on their entire head. So it takes me a while, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I haven't done this in a little while. And I've just pinned everything up because I think we're just gonna like chat for half an hour or so. Um, and plan the day before we get shooting, so I thought I would give it time to cool down. I've got a shoot in London next week, um, and I think I might do this in the morning before we head into London, and let it set in the car. I know Leonora does that, and her hair always has the most gorgeous bouncy blow dry look to it all day, so hopefully I can get that kind of look. But yeah, even now, just talking, when I inhale, I can, <laughs> I can taste the hairspray in the air. And yeah, look at this. The Dyson fan, this is the hot and cold air purifier, it actually tells you, can you even hear what I'm saying? Two seconds. Just turn the fan down for a second while I talk to you in case you can't hear anything. This line here shows the air quality, it should be green, purple is awful, red is bad, orange is not too good, yellow is meh and green is good. So now that there's so much hairspray in the air you can see that the fan is just trying to pull all of that toxicity out of the air so we'll just let that 
do its thing for a little while. I actually got makeup all over <laughs> this jumper dress when I was trying to put it on this morning. But I can't remember who it was that mentioned this, but now ever since I saw it, I'm always rolling my roll necks inwards and it just looks so much more sleek and finished than having that little flip down at the bottom. So let's just finish off makeup. That needs sharpening. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, what a classic. This is literally my lip colour, my exact lip colour. So it's quite good for just creating that shape. And then, bitch perfect. Bitch perfect. <laughs> yes. Love this colour. Forgot how much I love that colour. That is bitch perfect <laughs> from Charlotte Tilbury with Pillow Talk lip liner and two more Charlotte Tilburys to finish. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. I just put it under my eyes to set the makeup on my chin and on my T-zone. It's really, it literally is airbrushifying and finalmente just very natural highlight charlotte tilbury pillow talk multi glow you can actually use this all over your face but i just like it as a very soft natural highlight Lovely. Right, I'm gonna go downstairs. I think Jake is probably here. If not, he'll be here imminently. Perfume, Erin, Amber Musk for today and every day. Re obsessed with this. Oh, God, it's so gorgeous. Mm. Oh my gosh, how do they make a perfume smell so good? Oh, and last but not least, a little bit of hand cream, Aurelia. This is the Brighten and Repair hand cream. I just put it on the backs of my hands. I don't really feel like you need hand cream on the inside of your hands, do you? And then I pop a little bit of the Manicurist cuticle oil on as my very final thing that I do. Massage that in. I feel like I've been really prioritising these little, little moments of me time a lot more lately. Oh, some of my hair's come undone. <laughs> that looks very peculiar. Never mind. Right. Let's get the day started. Got here. Okay, Jake has arrived. He's just outside doing some drone shots. And tragically, La Marzocco has let us down. It's um, not booting up. I think there might be something wrong with the actual fuse and power. So Charlie has bought this relic out from the store and it is a La Pavoni machine. Anyone that's seen the talented Mr. Ripley might be familiar with this. It's an amazing device, but it's just a little bit of a hassle. And um, we used it for a long time, well, for like a year, and then upgraded to the La Marzocco. But for espressos, it is an incredible contraption. We've got the one with the walnut details so Charlie's going to set this up so that we can be caffeinated for our shoot and in the meantime I'm just going to make myself a nice herbal tea got you balanced up on the kitchen window it's a little bit high these have only been in for like 20 minutes if that but we need to get cracking so let's see if the curls are a success yeah I'm just going to release right. the granny yeah, curls as we shall see well. Silk sausage, yeah. um, but today I didn't have time because you have to give that like a few hours to set your hair. But this just takes so like it's 20 minutes. Silk sausage. Well, I call it a silk sausage, oh, I love that. <laughs> but that's probably not the technical term. Heatless curl set, yeah, okay, silk yeah, sausage. silk sausage. Ok, 
okay so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out they're quite big kind of blow dry esque curls I haven't sprayed them since I took them down um, so they'll probably drop a little bit I feel like if I used a smaller barrel and pinned them up for longer it might be tighter curls but I really like how this looks so fingers crossed it lasts Okay, shooting is going well. It's about half past 12. No matter how often I try to position my hair into a center parting, it always just goes back to this like weird angular side parting and then like a Y shape. It's very annoying, very, very annoying. So let's try and force it back into the middle. We're gonna stop for some lunch now. I think Charlie's gonna do some nice avocado on toast using my homemade bread and then we're going to shoot our second reel we have had a delivery from a company that i'm going to be doing a tiktok for and yeah we are doing well doing well a productive shoot day and i will finally have some fresh instagram content because there has been nothing new literally this entire year on my instagram <laughs> Just close the door up and then open it. I'm just gonna hold here yeah, so yeah, go for it and then grab them, grab them out. Yeah, I'll go for it. crazy lighting in here but it's now 5 p.m and we have just finished wrapping up shooting it was actually a really fantastic shoot day we got loads done a mixture of projects with brands and some really nice wholesome content for the old house channel so i feel like we have ticked so many boxes i even filmed a few um, gardening jobs videos so they will either be on my instagram or the old house I haven't decided which uh channel we're going to put them in just yet but seeing as it's still so nice and bright outside and i'm out here in the greenhouse i'm gonna show you a couple of bits which were in my latest amazon order i have got a few really good bits this month we all know how much i love the leggings but i couldn't believe it when i saw this gilet on amazon it is not showful it is not expensive in the slightest but it is literally the classic gardener's gilet gardener's slash countryside gilet i know that i've shown something else very, very similar to this lately but you've got the leather um detail on the edge here you've got the little zip detail and they are just so good when you're out in the greenhouse because if you have got slightly mucky hands you can pop your gilet on and know that you don't need to worry about getting mud on your outfit on underneath um but also just a layer of warmth if you're going to head out for a dog walk or any kind of walk heading out to the shops then it's just a really nice additional cozy layer but as well as this sorry the lighting is a little bit mad in here it's amazing that it's still so light at 5 p.m thought this was an amazing find as well it's like one of those classic countryside jackets this one has got it's at oh i wonder if it's reversible i guess you could wear this in a reversible way but it's really nice and thick it's got this quilted um lining to it yeah i bet you can actually wear this two ways round. but it's like a classic classic field jacket but minus the crazy price tag that field jackets normally have so this is actually my first time wearing this if you really want to bundle up get warm and cozy to be honest i know that this is going to be a keeper so i'm happy to remove the tags made in the uk country wear wow waterproof and breathable got a membrane a lining a moisture vapor an air gap and then the outer fabric hmm. <laughs> they have really thought about the design of this which i love so again perfect dog walking cold countryside walks 
gardening jackets. I think this is fantastic. The outer layer is, oh my gosh, the quality of this is amazing. It's almost got the same kind of suede collar as my barber. And then you've got this herringbone, almost tweed style. The inside, inside pocket, inside zippy pocket. Fantastic for your glasses or your vlogging camera or your iPhone. I like to layer up my pieces like this, so I'll more often than not have the gilet on underneath. But then I can do this up if I want a little bit of extra warmth. Nice big pockets. Gosh, I'm getting dazzled for poo bags, <laughs> for my phone, for my purse. And then you've got a really nice fit. I feel like this actually fits me better than some of my really expensive ones. So if you have been on the lookout to get that kind of countryside field jacket look, but you don't want to spend a load of money, then <laughs> these are the Amazon versions and such a good price. So this is what I'll be wearing for the rest of my... Actually, do you know what? It's still quite warm in here. I don't feel like I need this on at the moment. Um, I also picked up a few little greenhouse February gardening job essentials from Amazon, which I'll show you. Well, you'll remember that I picked up last month my micro green kit, and they are starting to germinate. The ones in the house, the ones in here, still a little bit too cold. And then these trays as well, which are super helpful, as I've just done do a batch of seeds. So I'm gonna take these into the house as well. We've got peas, two sets of peas, leeks, coriander, lettuce, chives, forget-me-nots, and snapdragons. And what's fantastic about these, you get three different layers. You get a base layer to catch the water, and then you get these trays, and there are one, two, three, four, five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 so you can grow 40 plants in each of these trays and then the plastic lid means that you don't need to worry about keeping watering them every single day because it just catches the humidity and creates almost like a little mini terrarium so this can go on my windowsill in the kitchen i don't know if the lighting is maybe a little bit better here can you see it in a bit more detail i'm so impressed with this the collar is like a moss green and it's just such, oh, you've even got little pockets up here with little straps in case you, I don't know what you'd attach to that. Your house keys maybe. But yeah, I would normally wear this open with my gilet underneath. I think I found my new favorite countryside outfit. Okay, my darlings, a little freshen up is required. I have not topped up my hair. How does one top up one's hair? I've not touched my hair or my makeup all day. So a little bit of extra lipstick. Let's do a little brush of the hair. I have actually been brushing my hair quite a lot today between the shoots. And I do feel that when you do Dyson Airwrap curls, if you want them to last, really you just want them to spray them when you've done it and not keep brushing them. But I just cannot bear to have tangly hair. So I do tend to be an over brusher. But even though it's not like curly, I still love the movement that we have got in the hair at the moment. It still looks like a really nice kind of, oh, embarrassing. Uh, still looks like a really nice kind of blow dry finish. So I thought seeing as I was sharing with you my um, gilet and field jackets from Amazon Fashion, I'll show you a few other things which I have loved from there lately, including this fabulous little combination. So look how cute this little dress is. I'm sorry you're balanced on a candle, a body lotion and a hairspray <laughs> so I can't tilt you down because my tripod is probably in the soil somewhere at this rate um, but love this little dress can you see if I scoot my poof out of the way can you see how short it is so it's just above the knee it's almost like a cable tie pattern so it's like a jumper but it is a dress a long sleeve jumper dress and then I love a long line cardigan and as you may have guessed from the rest of my wardrobe I love pairing together different neutrals so this is one of those outfits say I've got friends coming over for a Sunday roast or I'm heading to a friend's house or I'm just going to be working from home but maybe we're expecting some visitors so I don't want to be in leggings all day although I 
do not mind that in the slightest, then, oh, then this is a really fantastic outfit. I might take this outfit with me tomorrow. I've got Reforma Pilates at Dales for tomorrow, and then I'm basically going to work from there most of the day. If I feel like I need a break, I might drive over to Burford Garden Centre, or just maybe I might even go into Stowe. I haven't been into Stowe on the World in quite some time, but it's super close to Dalesford. And anyway, this is the perfect outfit for that kind of day, comfy and cosy. So the camel coloured long line cardigan. I love long line cardigan. It's literally like wearing your dressing gown out in public. So this is also from Amazon. A little bit of a balloon sleeve, a little bit of a cuff detail going on, but it is the colour and the snuggle factor that I'm in love with. So that's the cardi. And then this is the fabulous cable knit jumper dress. It's just such a sweet little dress. Love the length, love the fit, love the simplicity. And where is my belt? If you wanted to add a little bit of detail, then you could add a little waist belt. Ooh, I've got an idea. Well, it looks fantastic just as it is with a little waist belt. That is really, really cute. What a sweet little jumper dress. I feel like it's actually quite hard to find such classic jumper dresses as this. And this one ticks all the boxes. But then if you want to add a little extra layer of warmth, I found this, it's actually technically a blanket from the Tartan Blanket Company. I got this also on Amazon, but I have been wearing it when I want a little bit of an extra layer. We had an early morning car drive the other day and I just wanted a little extra layer. So that is absolutely perfect. Technically a blanket, works really well as a scarf. So a gorgeous additional cozy layer and it's just these neutral tones, browns, greys, absolutely lovely. So this is my second big success Amazon fashion outfit. I believe this might even be Amazon owned brand. Okay, you are balanced a little bit precariously, so let's hope that you stay put. This is another really classic outfit, and pre-moving to the Cotswolds, a satin midi skirt was pretty much a Josie classic. But to be honest, I haven't worn them quite as much lately, and I feel like maybe it's because I'm a bit scared to um, snag them. Whereas this one was so affordable, and there's something a little bit more easy to wear in a darker colour. So I picked up from Amazon this chocolate brown. I have to say it's a little bit too big for me, but I think it will be a really easy adjustment. Chocolate brown, satiny mini skirt, and I've chucked it on. And I've popped it on with this really gorgeous classic knit, which is also from Amazon. I feel like they are just going up and up and up with their fashion pieces. It's one of those really easy, not itchy in the slightest. Even one of the knits that I was wearing to shoot with today, it looked super soft, but it was actually itchy and I've got a very sensitive little neck. So this is like zero out of 10 on the itchy factor, as in it's not itchy in the slightest. Just a classic knit with a fairly big weave, like quite a big holy, <laughs> holy weave, which I love. And there are a few things you can do when you are tucking in. What I like to do if um, the outfit it allows it is to wear ginormous, um, what do you call it? Like shapewear. I like to wear shapewear knickers, Bridget Jones knickers, and tuck my knit into them. And that would make this area here a lot smoother because at the moment I've just tucked it in without the shapewear knickers and you can see a little bit of a roll there where the fabric of the jumper is starting to curl up a bit. But that's one way of doing it. Or something else which you can do, and I apologise if I reveal too much here, but you can actually tuck the bottom of your jumper into your bra. And especially if you've got a bra like those kind of Calvin Klein ones that have got a really big waistband or waistband? chest band i don't know but they also sell that kind of underwear on amazon too so i'll leave the right kind of bra down below but i've just tucked the bottom of the jumper into the bra and actually that's better because it's made the jumper even shorter and it's just quite a relaxed fit and way of styling a cozy chunky knit with a satin skirt really like that let's bring you down a tiny bit probably too far down you're just on a body lotion now but there you can see how it looks together. And I love the cream and brown combination. Makes me really want a cappuccino. <laughs> okay, one more outfit from Amazon and it is another 
winner winner chicken dinner when it comes to fantastic jumper dresses this one is a little bit thicker than the first one it is obviously brown not white and it has got a roll neck so this is what i was talking about earlier you can of course wear your roll neck um with it rolled outwards but my new favorite thing to do is tuck it underneath i feel like it might have been victoria that was talking about this on her youtube channel and it's a great thing to do as well if you've accidentally got makeup on your neckline like how much neater does that look it looks Oh, it just looks a million times better and I can't believe that I have lived 30 years of my life and only just figured this out. So fantastic little jumper dress. I feel like this with the right accessories just looks so expensive. It does not look like a super duper affordable Amazon piece and the great thing about things like this is that they are so timeless that I'm going to have this in my wardrobe for many years to come. Do you know what? I feel like the light is making me look like... <laughs> I've just had a giant macaroni and cheese, but when I'm looking in the mirror, it doesn't look like that, but in the camera it does. Crazy lighting. Anyway, again, a really nice length, just above the knees. Nice elasticity to the fabric. Again, really, really soft. It is not itchy in the slightest. Classic cable knit kind of design. Let's bring you down again. Yeah, this is just an absolute classic. I think this is what I'm going to take with me in my gym bag tomorrow to whip on after Pilates. Oh, because, did I mention the reason I'm hanging about is because I've got a facial at Dalesford in the afternoon, which I cannot wait for. Is that tomorrow? I think so, yes. So let me know which of these Amazon fashion outfits is your favorite. As always, if you click the more button under the description box, underneath the video, that'll open up the description box. Do you know what? I think you have to actually press something twice now. I'm just watching um, Joe, middle-aged minx, while I'm doing the try-on. So you have to click more, and then you have to click more again. My goodness, YouTube make it hard for you, but that is how you see where everything is linked. So all of these Amazon bits will be linked in the description box in that area. Um, I did actually get a new dressing gown as well, which I will also quickly show you. Change of plan, I'll show you the robe tomorrow because I'm just gonna stay in this dress for the rest of the evening because it is so blooming comfortable. I put, <laughs> I put these little shoe trees in my boots, by the way, for storage. And guess where you can buy the shoe trees? Amazon, very, very handy. And it just means that your lovely, fine leather boots, these are from Paris, Texas, and they're just such gorgeously like soft leather but if you don't put shoe trees in you can see how that would really easily wrinkle so they are a great little investment oh, i'm back again because there's one other thing that i wanted to share with you so this is i feel like i have become known for the leggings that um i've shared with you on amazon a few times and i'm so pleased i've seen quite a few comments from you guys saying that you have bought them as well and that you agree that they are the best leggings ever I will leave the leggings from the Amazon leggings linked in the description box down below as well. They're actually in the wash at the moment, otherwise I would be parading about in them for you right now. But on my quest to continue on the epic legging hunt, although I feel like you just can't beat the leggings, I found this pair. And these are really nice thick waistband and they're actually thermal leggings. So on the inside of these, it's like a brushed fabric so i feel like these are going to be super comfortable on those days they're just, they're not like they're not sports leggings i'm just going to put them on under the dress whereas the the leggings are suitable for wearing in the gym maybe you're doing some yoga in the morning and then you're just kind of wearing your leggings around the house <laughs> that kind of vibe but then i also wear them just like on an oh nice yes nice high waistband nice firm buttocks <laughs> where's that from <laughs> yeah these are really lovely as well so the leggings are good for well everything basically whereas these are not fitness leggings these are more kind of jodper material um a little bit thicker a little bit softer and fur lined <gasps> Or fleecy lined rather let's stick these on with a jumper okay there we go that is a Josie is done for the day and just wants to wear something comfy around the house then this is 
this is the outfit that I would go for. The waistband on these leggings is not quite so high waisted, like my tummy button is there, and I do like my leggings to cover my tummy button, but no one's going to be seeing that area anyway, because these are more of the kind of leggings that I will wear um, for relaxing, as I said, as opposed to doing a workout. Show you down here. Yeah, they're just a lot more comfortable. They're more like tracksuit bottoms that just happen to have the tightness of a pair of leggings. Yeah, literally, literally jodhpurs and I'm always on the lookout for chocolate brown. They might look black on camera, but they are chocolate brown. So yes, another fantastic find. Right, I now have to do my um, post photo shoot day tidy up, plus empty my inbox, plus go through some of the photos and choose the selects which need to get edited. So that's my evening basically, which is gonna be good fun. So I'm going to go and grab a glass of water and get cracking. Currently working off three screens at once, but hopefully you guys might be able to see how epic the sky is looking. We've been having some incredible sunsets lately. And this one is quite dramatic, quite a lot of reflection going on, but wow, look at that pink speckled sunset sky. It has been at least five weeks since I last had a macaroni cheese for dinner. So tonight is the night. I'm gonna make it from scratch as always. And according to Tim Spector, cheese is good for you. So this may not be the most nutritionally complete dinner, but oh my goodness, after a shoot day, this is exactly what I'm craving. So I'm gonna use, I'm trying to use up some of our fusilli. My preference is rigatoni, as you may know, milk, um, butter, parmesan and cheddar, and then a good, ooh, <laughs> a good dollop of English mustard. I also need to get some flour out, kettle is boiling, and it's time to make my favorite meal in the entire world. Beautiful, still, frosty morning. Look at this. I tried to turn my car on from the app and have it start to preheat, but it doesn't look like it's actually worked, although the car is steaming. Let's see. Oh, what a morning. Well, it's definitely steaming, but I don't know if it's preheating.
Today was a very, very chilly and frosty morning, but another of those beautiful blue sky mornings. So it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I showed you a little bit of the drive down here to Dalesford and the drive that I take from our house to Dalesford, I think has to be one of the most beautiful drives in the entire country and it is just even more magical on mornings like this. So I did a slightly later than usual Pilates, I did Chloe's 9.45 of former Pilates which was a great way to start the day and now I've actually got three hours to kill between now and 3.30 and um, I've got a an ultra former treatment here at Delsford later or at Bamford rather later on today so I'm going to go and um, pick up some bits that we need from the farm shop and then I think I might drive to Stowe because I haven't been to Stowe in quite some time I think there's some nice antique shops um, I might even drive on to the Burford Garden Centre not sure yet oh so this is a luxury that i don't often have it's just time and not too sure what to do with it but i need to get my chai latte and some dog food most importantly so i'm gonna do my little shop and then we'll see where where we decide to go <laughs> I've decided to come to the Burford Garden Company, had a nice lunch at Dalesford, a, an artichoke and celeriac soup, it was very very tasty indeed, and a chai latte. I suddenly feel so tired though, I think all the milk in the chai latte has just made me feel very sleepy. When I was driving up here I honestly thought I'm gonna have to take a nap <laughs> when I get to the garden centre car park, but alas I need a wee so <laughs> I won't be having a nap in the car. Um, I'm sure once I get a little bit of fresh air I will be fine. Too much information I'm sorry that's what you get <laughs> on this channel, but I'm gonna have a little look around the garden centre. I don't need anything. I'm not allowed to buy any seeds don't let me buy any seeds because I don't need any more. I actually just bought three packets of seeds at Dalesford as well. So I must not, this is me telling myself, do not buy any seeds, Josie. You don't need any more. Right, let's get cracking um, and have a little look around. Maybe we'll have a little stroll into Burford or Stowe on the way back, but we'll see how we go timing-wise. Started off in the food section. They've got such gorgeous products here. Some really lovely Kind of Mediterranean things, a nice Greek extra virgin olive oil, Italian extra virgin olive oil, and I've just found this tray, which is going to be my mac and cheese tray, and this brand. One of you guys actually sent me a photo of their kefir water from here, um, Agua de Madre. So I would try this culture shot. Maybe that'll wake me up a little bit, and I'm going to find a basket and get one of these lovely big olive oils as well. If you want to do your own Valentine's Day wreath and don't want to forage in the hedgerows like I did, they've got some wreath frames here, some circular ones and some heart-shaped ones. I'm pretty sure... Ah oh yes, I've got some metal ones here as well. Here we go, some Pussy Willow. This is what I was after to put in my wreath. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit empty out here in February, but won't be long until there'll be lots of blooms, mostly things like hellebores and evergreen pieces. A few camellias that have been forced probably because I don't think they should be flowering just yet. Maybe I'm wrong. A few grasses, some bay trees, some laurel trees. Don't think there's anything that I need out here, but I'm grateful for the fresh air. I've tripped and fallen into the seed section, but Having a look never hurt anybody. <laughs> Ooh, this is what gets me excited these days. Surely no one actually buys these when you could just use toilet roll tubes. Hmm. already failed miserably my mission to not buy any seeds and they've got a new seed company here as well Chilton Seeds 
and they have a lookbook. I'm more used to getting emails with fashion lookbooks, but let's have a look inside this seed lookbook. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Stunning. Gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, you guys, it is actually not even funny how many seeds I have just purchased <laughs> considering the one thing that I did not need to buy today was seeds, but they're just, I mean, let me show you how cute these seed packets are. <laughs> it's just, for me, this is just like going into a candy store and I have problems of self-control and I did not practice any self-control on this little shopping trip. This giant watchful here is not even, not even all of them, um, but I thought about what I would like to be eating and what is going to look pretty in our garden. So I'll do a very quick haul for you. Spring onions, the classic kind. Um, this is all just like kitchen stuff in this bag here. Spring onions, this Italian seed brand called Franci with yellow courgettes because they are always fun. This is the brand that had the lookbook, Chilton Seeds. They've got some lovely Grandiflora Cathy sweet pea. I got loads of little microgreens including some spinach. There's more in here somewhere. This is a very bougie looking seed company. It's actually from the Royal Botanic Kew Gardens. So this is a rather fabulous looking squash. Some very gnarly dark purple carrots that Charlie I'm sure will be very impressed with. You've just got to get your classic peas, peas in a pod. I thought I would try doing some mixed onions from seed. More microgreens, this is radish. Then we've got, oh, the most gorgeous foxglove digitalis from Chilton Seeds. It was a beautiful light pink color. Your classic courgette with the kind of bulb at the bottom. Very, very classic courgette. Funnily enough, it's called a Defender. Another type of pea. This is an early variety and you get loads of peas in each pod. Some Mange too, because I loved them last year. And another kind of mustard microgreen. So that is handful number one. I bought this uh, little tray as well because I thought this is the perfect size for putting on windowsills with my little plant pots in it, or on it rather. Oh, there's so many more. A rather fun red spring onion. I thought they could be quite cool. Classic radishes because they always do very well in my garden. Pak choy microgreens gourmet garnish microgreens. I think that's probably just a selection. Another kind of purple carrot from Chilton Seeds. Beetroot microgreens and chicory microgreens. I'm gonna have so many microgreens. I also got some more broad beans because I have got a sneaky feeling that my current broad beans are a little bit out of date. So that's a little backup. And then these beautiful little corms of ranunculus. Hopefully these might be in flower for our wedding. That would be the dream. And then some lily of the valley, which smells amazing. Again, hopefully in flower for our wedding. Uh, ditto the classic white lily of the valley. Oh my gosh. And then finally, um, some sets of onions. So these, I don't really know how this works, but you essentially plant one small onion and then I think a bigger onion grows. I think that's how it works, but I don't know much about growing onions or garlic. Ooh, this beautiful deep purple dahlia, because I remember with my dahlias last year, I was kind of over the like pinks and whites because dahlias do come up and last well into the late, late summer. Uh, 
Uh, the classic kind of long banana shaped shallot. And finally, one more dahlia, a beautiful white one. Wow, so that is quite the haul of um, items which I'm going to be growing. I can't believe I bought this many seeds after everything that I said earlier. I knew it would happen. I just knew it. Okay, it's half past two. I'm going to take a leisurely drive back to Dalesford in time for my treatment at half past three. it has become a bit of a car vlog kind of day and the reason why I am boomeranging today is because I've been invited to try out a new treatment here this afternoon it's called the Ultraformer I think it's the Ultraformer 3 treatment and Bamford basically as you know I come for Pilates every week they also have the most amazing treatments my favorite is the 90 minute signature treatment which is basically an hour-long body massage and then a 30 minute facial it is heavenly absolute heaven but they've recently invested in some more kind of scientific and machine based treatments one of which is the ultraforma and it's all about lifting and tightening and rejuvenating the skin on the face and the body so you can choose to have one body part or like one you can even just do like forehead or jowls if you really want to but i think i'm having a face and body treatment i'm really intrigued i'm early 30s not terribly wrinkly so I'm not too sure what effect it's gonna have on me but it was a very kind invitation from Bamford so I thought I will give this a go and I can let you guys know um, what it's like and what the results might be so oh actually do you know what if it lifts my booty then I will be a very happy lady so without further ado let's go in and check it out most of which was using this device, which is called the Aquapure. We decided to switch treatment based on my particular skin's needs, and the lady was saying that this one is more appropriate for if you want a little bit of a gentle peel, exfoliation, um, some lovely lymphatic drainage, and also microcurrent. So you can see the microcurrent on this side, and then the machine also um, was used for applying a really gentle salicylic, salicylic peel. So I would say a little bit like a hydrofacial but a bit more gentle and with the addition of the microcurrent which is so great for stimulating the muscles in your skin and then of course the cleansing and all the gorgeous massage bits were using the Bamford products which are just oh, so heavenly, they smell amazing. They feel like heaven on the skin and there was also a little cold stone massage part of the treatment as well. So I'm feeling very zen, very relaxed and ready for my third cup of herbal tea of the day. 